Welcome to CivilNet. Today I'm joined by the acting rector of the Yerevan State University, Hovanes Hovanisian. The Yerevan State University is the oldest continuously operating public university in Armenia and is sometimes even colloquially known as the mother university of Armenia. We'll be discussing reforms, the university's road roadmap, and some of the issues in the educational sector in Armenia. So, Mr. Hovanisian, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for having me here. So can you describe the situation of the Yerevan State University and what are the major challenges the institution is facing? Um, thank you very much for the invitation one more time. So we are having a lot of challenges. As they uh, broadly saying, the educational sector in the world today is facing a lot of challenges. And we in Armenia, we are facing uh, the broader challenges and the local challenges at the same time. Uh, you mentioned correctly that this is the oldest uh, university which was founded in 1919 and we celebrated one 100 year of anniversary recently. So in the in the past three years, Yerevan State University faced a lot of challenges including the political uh, situation in Armenia which kind of impacted the Yerevan State University and uh, the previously uh, governments which tried to put the university under the control so and now we are uh, we are heading forward by having a purely research institution educational institution and our philosophy is here but we should have a research institution with a strong research component and we are doing some reforms towards this another challenge is uh, infrastructures we are trying to renovate, uh, rehabilitate and to have new infrastructures including having a new uh, STEM school for which we need the international our supporters, our diaspora uh, businesses to come, uh, to come and to get involved into this process. So we are now, uh, now we are in a, in a phase of reforms and development and for this we need uh, clearly the support of our diaspora and we need the support of uh, businesses and others. Um, by the way, the connection between the local businesses and Yerevan State University, not only Yerevan State University, but the other universities was very weak. Now we are trying to strengthen this because in many cases the businesses were complaining uh, that they don't have good uh, 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 professionals to get involved into their businesses and now we are uh, suggesting them to come to the education, to invest into the education, to have joint programs and uh, to uh, prepare uh, professionals for their businesses and not only for their businesses for the development of Armenia. And in this sense we have a lot of, a lot of things to do with the businesses as well. But on, the, on our first line, or major line, is to strengthen the research capabilities of the, um, of the staff of uh, professors of Yerevan State University, for which we try to involve uh, professors from abroad. And we would be happy if this program would be uh, seen by our professionals abroad, and they will send some messages how we want to get involved into this process of reformation of Yerevan State University to get their input into uh, the education of our students. Uh, and uh, many, many other reforms. We, uh, it's all already a month I'm an acting director of Yerevan State University, but during this month we try to outline the major directions of our reforms. And uh, I can say that in some uh, directions we uh, have already some successes. Uh, we try also to um, promote people uh, to have their journals in the, uh, in the international indexes like Scopus or Web of Science. With, we also we are raising the money which we are giving, which previously was given to professors for their publications. We are now raising, but we are doing the uh, differentiating the, for example, in impact factor journals like Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, we are raising the money for, for example, Q1 and Q2, which will impact the rating of Yerevan State University, which in its turn will bring some international students 
uh, to some of our programs. And we are also, we try to do some steps to, to involve international students and to do some steps towards the interna internationalization of, the, of uh, some of our educational programs. So we have a broader uh, uh, agenda of reforms and we are trying to implement that in forms, uh, reforms. Some of the reforms are, uh, would, would, uh, would be implemented in the nearest future. Some of the reforms uh, would take some time to, uh, to be implemented. And you mentioned you have been acting rector for a month, um, but the U university, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, has been without a rector for almost a year, around a, a year. Uh, why is this? Uh, it's, not, it's not so, because the university has an acting rector as well. The problem was we didn't have board of trustees. Uh, and uh, the problem was with the Board of Trustees. Now the government adopted a new because it's a public institution and the government is the founder. So now we have a new decision and according to that decision we are going to form a new Board of Trustees which itself will announce the competition for the rector and after this competition I hope at the end of this year already we will have uh, a rector of Yerevan State University. And there have been many calls for reforms in the educational sector in Armenia. You spoke a bit about the need for, for resources from outside. Uh, can you tell us a bit more about that? And is it not even possible to have staffers, researchers and professors coming from abroad, perhaps even from the diaspora? Yesterday with a group of young uh, scholars, we were discussing the idea of professorship in Armenia. Uh, which will allow us to, to involve some uh, professionals, some professors from abroad and kind of to restart many of the programs in German state universities. For me personally, it's very important the nature sciences, the fundamental sciences. Uh, it's, it's very important. The humanities are important as well. The uh, Armenian studies are important as well. But nature sciences, they are the moving force of Yerevan State University and they always were the moving force of Yerevan State University. We had very good traditions in physics, in applied physics, uh, in IT now we have a good tradition. In mathematics we have very, very good and cooperation of these spheres with universities abroad, which we are now trying to implement, uh, would be maturely profitable, maturely profitable. I want to stress, but we have very good uh, um, professors at the Irvine State University at this moment, but at the same time we should make the uh, educational sphere and scientific sphere more attractive for the younger uh, generation, which nowadays I would say is not so. They are not so much motivated to stay in the science. They are mostly motivated to go to a real sector to earn money. That's why we are trying to enhance some finances to um, keep these uh, professors, young scholars, uh, in the university. And for this reason, one of our major steps which we are going to implement is to create the endowment fund, which Yerevan State University didn't have an endowment fund and most of the public institutions in Armenia they did, don't have endowment fund. Uh, the creation of, uh, creating of endowment fund and accumulating uh, some finances on it and using that uh, interest of that finances for the development uh, projects of Yerevan State University is one of our priorities and we are going to work on that direction and soon I think we will have the uh, we will have the endowment fund and we are going to start a campaign uh, to raise uh, money on exact programs on exact programs and plus of course we uh, we need a lot of scholarships for our students and many many people many businesses now they are providing scholarships but we need to make it more institutional and, uh, and uh, continuous. This is very important for us. And is there anything in particular which is disturbing the reform process? And can you tell us possibly about any roadmap? Uh, we have a roadmap. We have a roadmap. We have a, uh, and our philosophy is uh, the following. For us, the, the, the most important thing is the human being. 
Uh, for us, uh, the human is the center of everything, and especially our university, because everything goes around the humans. Professors, students, everything is around them. And we are doing our best to improve their life. For example, the, it's, not, it's not secret that the salaries of uh, professors at Yerevan State University is not so high. But now this uh, is, is going the attestation process of the scholars and uh, the scholars who will get higher uh, degrees, they will get more uh, salary. Plus, I already mentioned the publications and the other means, so it can in, uh, raise their salary uh, to the market rates. To the market rates. For example, if you are teaching in an IT uh, department and uh, you can get like uh, one and a half million uh, drums going to the market, so you can get that money working in the science and working in the university through these reforms, but after these reforms. And in this sense, of course, there are a lot of things to do, a lot of things to do. It's the improvement of infrastructures, new laboratories. For example, when somebody is uh, telling me we want to donate some money to Irvine State University for some program, I prefer uh, them to say, uh, can you implement that with that money? Don't give us the money, but implement it on your own, because it gives us more flexibility, it gives us more opportunity, and we are not going through the uh, procurement uh, process of public procurement process, which sometimes makes a lot of difficulties for us. So, in this sense, if there are some people who will have some ideas to implement, to create some new laboratories at the Irvine State University, to uh, create some new programs or, uh, or try to improve some infrastructure, because we want to create, for example, a new student center, we want to have a new uh, updated and uh, internationally, like uh, st by international standards, uh, conference halls, etc. to uh, to host uh, international conferences. Uh, for this reason, uh, we need some um, investors because uh, education is not a, the, the, any expenses done on education is not an expense. It's an investment. We have this philosophy. And if you want to invest into the education process, any person is free to do that. And finally, I want to ask about a phenomenon I've heard about in Armenia, which is the politicization of university spaces in Armenia. Uh, many saw university figures as political figures. I know also that a lot of the university societies were highly politicized. Can you describe this phenomenon to us and whether there is a process of depoliticization going on? Um, years ago, everything was politicized in Armenia, including the universities and the educational sector as well, including schools, colleges and the others. Uh, and it's not a secret that I'm coming from the current uh, political uh, party. I was in the parliament, but when I came to university and I decided to come to university, I said it's over. So uh, I'm coming as a political person and by my steps and by my philosophy and the and the actions which I was doing in the last one month, everybody was convinced that I am saying the truth. And Yerevan State University is not going to be any more politi politically affiliated institution for any political party. So people are free to express their minds. I'm not going to press them for that. But uh, when you are when you are at Yerevan State, when you are teaching. You should be objective, you should be non-political, at least you should uh, stand on that position that you are apolitical. And, um, and, but, but for this reason, it's, uh, the will of one person is not enough. We need, we need institutional approach to this. And for institutional approach, we need a lot of policies to be developed. Unfortunately, in the last, uh, last years or the previous years, Many, many policies were not developed. We need a lot of policies to be integrity policy, we need research policy, we need hundreds of different policies. Uh, when these policies would be ready, we can say that it will, will be uh, um, stand on institutional basis, the apolitization of the educational sector, including, of course, the law on higher education plus the 
uh, decisions of government and plus the policies of, of the exact universities. And after this we can say that uh, the, this era is over and it's coming a new era and, and the freedom and uh, the atmosphere, our political atmosphere, were one of the most important uh, factors uh, to have uh, better education, to have a quality education and we are, we are moving forward to this. Well, Mr. Hovanisian, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us on Civil Net.